Hey there, how you doing? So this tutorial, I'm going to show you a more recent, uh, it's an updated video that I have done on how to create Facebook tabs on your Facebook business page. I made a tutorial that uh, is several years old now and a lot has changed. So I thought it's time to redo this tutorial for you today. So if you're wondering how you can get Facebook tabs on your business page, and then I'm going to show you how to do this. So this is this video was created in uh, end of September 2020. So and if you know anything about Facebook, you'll know that it constantly changes. So as of right now, this is what it looks like. Um, and this is the way to do it. If things change, um, I will put any updates in the description and around this video. So you know what things have changed. But a lot has changed for my previous video. So this is how Facebook business pages currently look like. So I had a recent um big kind of redesign of everything and so the facebook tabs now are a lot less visible than what they used to be so this is my business page and i want to show you um where they are so here you can see along the top here this is where my custom tabs that i have created are showing and so you can see there's only a couple that are visible. Let me just do view as a visitor and just see if it's any different. So no, this is exactly the same. So you can only actually see now two. What you used to have is down the left here, you used to have a whole list of things and you could see a lot more. But the cool thing about these custom tabs is it's a really great way to be able to get more people seeing your custom pages. So if you've got, maybe you wanna send people to a kind of landing page, a uh, capture page to get, any people onto your email list, or maybe you wanna send them to a sales page for a product, service, whatever. Or if you wanna get people over to your Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, anything like that, you can use this for. And you can easily move them around and customize them and make them, um, you know, add, remove, whatever. It's very simple to do. A couple of things in terms of from when I very first created the tutorial a few years ago. Now you have to have um, at least 2,000 likes on your page so i've got um at the moment i've got over six and a half oh no, i've got seven nearly seven yeah seven nearly seven thousand people on my page so this was something that facebook changed a few years ago you now have to have i believe um at least two thousand that's the current kind of rules so if you haven't got that many likes yet you're not going to be able to do that um, and I've got a training on if you want to be able to increase your likes, but with targeted people, you don't just want to increase numbers for the sake of it because it's not going to make your business page very effective at all. So there'll be a link or and some information below this video somewhere that you can um, find out how to do that. But let's focus on creating these tabs. So if I click on the more button, you're going to see all of the tabs that I've got. And so you can see here I've created a few custom ones so here i've got a work with me i've got the services that i provide i've got then free trainings i've got um, a link that goes to my free group um, and then these are some of the standard ones and then i've created ones for my other platforms so youtube instagram pinterest and then these are then the other standard ones so you can see you know you can add quite a lot of things and you never know who's going to kind of get curious and get click happy and look around and see what you've got there or you can point people to them if you're doing a facebook live maybe you maybe you can say hey go and check out the tabs in my page if you want to go somewhere something that you can do so you can see here i've got several but see the only trouble now is that you can only see two but it but you can very easily reorder them so if you're maybe doing a promotion or um you've got a special offer on your products or services or if you want to highlight some you can really easily move them around so i'm going to start though with how do you add them in the first place all right so the website that i used to create these is called woobox so you can just go to woobox.com and then you can create an account for free you just link it to your facebook page um and then you'll be able to add tabs so here you'll see on the left there's one that says facebook tabs and so this is um i think the standard one so this is kind of it gives you some options that you can easily then connect to your instagram twitter pinterest youtube etc and then you've got so these are ones to for, obviously for connecting to those other social media sites and other sites if you want to create what's called a custom tab um, so maybe you want to send them to a page on your website 
um, like I say, so ones that I've got, if I click on them, so this work with me, it's going to open up a page on my website. So you can see here, even though it, it kind of looks a bit funny, unfortunately, but hey, I'm OK with it not being great, but they still get to see the main information. Um, or this is the services which is done from um, Facebook. Or if I go to my free trainings one, this then I think, uh, OK. Yes, yeah, so this is another feature. You can also choose whether people actually like your page or not to get access to stuff. So I'll come to that in a second. So um, the HTML tab is more if you want to be able to send people to a website. So you can see here it says here, set up a custom tab for your Facebook page or business to display a website or your custom HTML code. I'm not I don't really know much about HTML code so that you might know what that's about. I don't know. Um, so in terms of how you connect stuff, so let's just, I don't know whether I've got an Instagram one. Yeah, I have, but I'm just going to go back to here. So I'm just going to click on Instagram and then it's going to ask you, what do you want to do? So if I go into this one, because I've already linked it, let's take a look what I did. So all you need to do, it just asks you for your Instagram username. So you just need to pop in your Instagram username. Um, you've got some kind of management here for business connections and then you can choose what it looks like. So you've got your photos, photos that you've been tagged in. So the photos with a tag might be great for brands, um, you know, people that are tagging in their businesses um, for products and stuff like that. You could do that or you could just show your photos and then you save. And you've got things here to be able to manage. You can see you've got uh, tab settings so you can give it a label. So you can call it Instagram or you can put whatever you want. Um, you can even see statistics of how many people then are actually going to like, you know, look at these tabs if you want to be able to see that information. And then you can remove the app and do other things like that. OK, so then let's just come back. So that's in terms of how you can connect social media sites. They're all going to be the same in terms. You just need to find your username and then link it. So for the kind of the website pages, if I go into one of these. So here is where you can say what you want. So you can either have it be um, you used to be able to have an image. I don't know whether it's still. Maybe it does let you again. I don't know. You used to be able to have an image, like a little thumbnail, but that changed. I just have a URL. So enter the, the URL beginning uh, to load the tab. So, yeah, so here is where I've got my, this is my website link. Um, you can choose some of the information here with what you want. You, obviously, if you do have HTML stuff, you can chuck in that code there. Um, and then here is where you can set settings in terms of you can actually sort of force people if they want to see your content, see your custom tabs, you can then make it that they have to like your page. So if you choose um, optional gate, you can see here it says visitors will be asked if they want to like your page before, before viewing your page content. Um, Facebook policy no longer allows requiring a user like your page. OK, yes, yeah, so you used to be able to say you can only see this if you like the page. So now it's optional. So people get that view. So I think that's what that one. So people can then do um, click like above so they can click on that like and then it will open up. If they do continue, it then shows the content. There we go. Yeah. So this goes to my blog with my uh, free trainings. So, yes, yeah, so it's pretty simple. You can then just kind of choose if you want that on or off. Um, yeah, I say I used to have little thumbnails, so I haven't played around with these images to see what that does yet, um, if anything. But I just stick with the URLs. It's really nice and simple. And then you can save that. And then again, you've got tab settings. So you, again, you can give it a name. So like I've got work with me, you might have uh, products, you might have services, you might have um, free video series, free checklist, you know, any kind of free lead magnet you might be offering. You can label it whatever you like. Um, share settings. Not sure what this is. Uh, I think this is new or from my because I very rarely come in it because I just set them up years ago and then I just leave them. So you can show then if you want to have people to be able to share stuff, you can obviously do that there. 
So then um, in terms of once you've set these tabs up, so let me just come back to these. So once you've created your tabs, what's going to happen then is you're going to come, you're going to come to your Facebook page. And then what you're going to need to do now, say, this has only recently changed for me. So I'm still trying to figure out where all the bits are. So what you need to do is come into the settings. So here it's on this list and down at the bottom is settings. And then I'm just trying to see where it is. Dun, dun, dun. And then you want to come down and here you've got templates and tabs. So you go into the settings and you've got another whole menu. So then you go to templates and tabs. And now here you can find all of the tabs. So you get the general ones. So the, all these ones with a toggle are the ones that Facebook provides you. So you can choose if you have those on or off. And then in, in terms of the custom ones, then you can see these are ones. don't know why I've got that three times. got them four to five times. <laughs> I don't know why there's so many things there. Um, you can now uh, reorder them. And so you can then see these tabs. I reckon that's a glitch because I think some of these should be like my, um, you know, my Instagram and Pinterest and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know why that's showing weirdly because here they show fine. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, so what you can do then when you see them properly, you can then just reorder them. So, you know, I moved certain things to the top. Uh, you can reset to default. Um, which. Yeah, this is definitely gone, definitely gone weird because, yeah, now I've got loads of Pinterest ones. So that's all a bit odd. Um, so, <laughs> so you can now just when things show properly, you can just reorder them. I'm going to come out of that and let's try going into um, this and see if the same thing happens. Try going into it again. Templates and tabs. I probably screwed it all up now. OK very weird. First of all, they also work with me. Now they're all Pinterest. Um, but yeah, so for me clicking that um, reset, it's now disappeared. So I'm going to have to try and figure out which one is which and uh, put them back to how I had it. Um, so you can just see all you've got to do is just click and drag and then you can just move things up. Oh, yeah, it looks like there's there's a glitch here. So it's not very good for this tutorial. So apologies for that. Um, but when it views right, you can just reorder them and choose what's on or off and if ever you want to turn any of them on or off you can then just come in here and then you could just come to either remove app um or i think you should be able to turn it off admin only mode So, yeah, and with the free account, I think you only get so many tabs. So I don't think I can add any more. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty simple to say, apart from the, the glitch, which is not great timing, but hey ho, it's um, it's very easy to do. So say it's great to be able to send people to your lead magnet opt in pages, any sales pages, any, you know, product pages, service pages, whatever you want to do. This is then how you can do that. And so once that's there um, and even all of these ones, you can move everything around. So if you want to have your uh, like I've got my services and reviews quite high up um, and I've got, you know, I don't need like jobs. I don't. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> this is now gone even more crazy. I might have to redo this video again, but uh, for now this is fine. So you can do lots of things with these tabs. You can um, move them around, turn them on or off as you wish. But in terms of the custom tabs, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. So I hope this explained it pretty well. Apologies for the um, weird Facebook glitch that just happened to do this as I redid this video after about five years. So thanks a lot, Facebook. Um, but otherwise, feel free to drop any comments below if you've got any questions, if I might be able to help or not. Um, this is just what I've used. There might be other things that you might be able to use, but this is just what I found to be easiest when I first started doing my business online six years ago. So hope it helps. Have a good one and I'll see you soon. Bye.